Hi and welcome to an inspiring artist we're studying. Today I'm going to be talking about Shane Glides. Hi, my name is Reese Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist in the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now and I'm here to empower you. So if you don't know who Shane Glides is, he's one of the designers for Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, and among, among many other uh, animated shows. And he worked directly under Bruce Tim. He got a start in Spumco. And uh, I just wanted to go over some of his work because we've already been talking about Darwin Cook. We talked about Bruce Tim. We talked about uh, Jim Steranko. And we talked about Jack Kirby. So. All of these guys kind of like in a way I'm everybody's kind of following on the other person's footsteps. Now, Darwin Cook, when I talked about his work, he also was one of uh, he also worked in the animated series, uh, the, the superhero DC animated series under Bruce Timm. But he also has his own thing going on. He did his own stuff. Uh, he had his own style going on and he made himself very unique in his own right. Shane Glines has stayed being a designer for the most part. That doesn't necessarily mean that he doesn't do his own thing. And in fact, he is mostly on an online artist doing online work, showing off his work online. That isn't to say that there isn't any Shane Glein books, and I'm going to link to them in the description of this video. I don't happen to own any of them because all the stuff that I really like that Shane Glein does tends to be available online for me from him, uh, and uh, and it's and it's very it's just I just like seeing his work, and not everything that he does I want to have but uh, that doesn't uh, and I'll explain I'll show you what I mean because he's extremely prolific he actually sketches so much that uh, it's really hard to keep up with everything he does and that's one of the reasons why I'm not just downloading everything because he just does it's just too much it's just too much drawing like um, so let, let's let's get started so one of the things that Shane Glein tends to do a lot is these kind of like sheets of paper full of just shapes and designs and playfulness and and, and uh, exploration. And uh, some of these things are for the show, I think, for, for like uh, superhero shows. Like, uh, for example, this, uh, I, I believe, is just some exploration that he did for an animated series. So here we have uh, what seems to be the Joker, Commissioner Gordon. I'm not sure what this is, but this is really great because of how simple he does. So these, see here, we have Bruce Tim kind of calligraphy, but then this is extremely pushed. He really pushes this stuff. Here we have this kind of like, uh, kind of a Bruce Tim, but it's mostly Shane Glines kind of a face. So uh, I was talking about uh, Darwin Cook's, uh, there, there, was a, there was a drawing of Parker, I believe it was Parker. It, w had, it was uh, black, white, and yellow. And this was the shape, this was the head shape. And see here we go, so it's like, it's like the, the same kind of school of design uh, when it comes to some of these uh, artists come coming from the Bruce Tim school of design, um, but uh, the difference between Shane and and uh, Bruce Tim is that he really pushes stuff. Like he pushes it to for way for way more than Bruce Tim ever does. Like he just goes for it. He just because uh, Shane is influenced by a lot of different artists, guys who are extremely extremely cartoony and. He, and uh, and uh, if, if possible, if I can remember the link, I want to show you a... Uh, I'm going to link to a video of Shane Glein's lecturing on other artists. And so if you like this video, these videos where I'm talking about other artists and showing you what I like about them, well, you're going to love 
watching Shane Glines do the exact same thing with the artist that he loves. And he actually, when I was watching those videos, I'm like, oh, that's so cool. Oh, I like that artist now. Oh, like, it's like, this is, it made me realize that, oh, so that's what it feels like to have somebody talk about a really cool artist. <laughs> so, um, anyway, uh, so the, here we have uh, this. See, like, notice how this face is really pushed and it's like like an arrow face and it's really great like he's he's not afraid to just go and just take it as far as it could go or or in an exaggerated way um one of the so some of the best things about uh shane is just that he he plays with shapes he he just goes for it and sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't most of the time he makes it work. Like, there's something about every single one of the crazy push stuff that actually still looks cool. Like, like he may not like it, but it's still interesting and cool. So, it, yeah, like, like, this is much more conservative than this crazy uh, shape. And I think it just works. And look how crazy this eye is. It's just, he does a fantastic job, like, just designing and creating and pushing shapes. Uh mm -hmm. This, if you if you didn't know, it was a Shane. Uh, you would have thought it was Bruce Tim, but really the the again uh, the difference between Shane and Bruce is that Shane really pushes things, and I don't think Bruce Tim would have gotten and pushed this these shapes as far as Shane did, and that's what actually what makes this drawing uh, something much more unique and interesting than something that Bruce Tim uh, would do. And uh, it, it, it's it's really interesting, and it's too bad that this is such a small, high, like a small drawing. It's a, it's a low res drawing, but a uh, beautiful line. Uh, again, the, these 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 lines are put like the simplicity is pushed. We have straights and then curves here. Uh, uh, straights like like this, this is really pinched and in, 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 into the into the hips. Straights and then curves here. Here's an S curve. Here's a C curve. Uh, straights and an S and an S curve here. Uh, this is a uh, a modified uh, a Freddie Moore shape, but it's but it, again it's it's a with Bruce Tim aesthetics on top of it. Uh, here's a here's a C curve, a C curve, a C curve. But look now how this kind of connects, and there's, it's kind of like there's a straight pushing right here this is almost straight there is a c curve here but this is almost a straight compared to like and then there's an s curve uh it it, it really helps to push these shapes and make them interesting and and and, uh, and make them that much more uh visually appealing again uh really push so like if you you're looking at these and you're going, wow, man, look at these crazy designs and shapes that he's doing like this. But this is actually uh, influenced by a different artist that uh, I forgot his name. But these faces are very much influenced by this other uh, uh, cartoonist. And so you can see that Shane is really just um, picking up and, and, and experimenting with the calligraphy of, of uh, this other artist's face, while at the same time, look, this is a very Bruce Tim uh, 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 limbs, right? And but 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 pushed to a thousand percent, like like it's just like it's just huge huge legs, huge thighs, tiny 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 little feet and ankles. I mean, it's great. Uh, this is uh, really kind of, almost a UPA kind of. A, uh, character design. This is an, there's an L here with a with a with a C curve, and then two tiny little legs coming out of this. This is really really simple designs. If you look at the drawing website, if you go to the drawing website and you and you and you you go through all the level zero stuff all the way to the end where where you can make cartoons with very very simple shapes. Uh, here we go. These are the very simple shapes. Like that. This is how cool it could look to do something with the, actually very simple shapes. And these shapes here, like all the shapes that he's using, are extremely simple. Especially on this character. Here's a straight. Here's a C curve. Straight. I mean, look at this, and it's it's just beautiful. This. Notice that this is this this line is a straight line here. It isn't a ball. It or isn't a, a bump here. It's a straight line. Why? Because she's sitting. Her 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 butt 
against something hard. So that means that when you when you when when something soft like like here the under part of my arm hits a hits a, a flat surface, it flattens out, it straightens out. And, and that adds depth, that, that adds weight to your character, right? Uh, oh, this is a beautiful, beautiful face. A beautiful design. Uh, big eyes. Look at his nose is, is, is going up here. It's not a perfectly uh, symmetrical, perfect nose. It's not perfect. It's not, it's not, per the proportions aren't perfect. Um, it, it, he's playing with shape design. Look, this ear is fantastic. Uh, Again, here is another example of of a, of a great design. Like like like, look how far the mouth is from his nose. Look at the way that is. This nose comes in and then, and it becomes bulbous. And then he had this kind of red, the the redness of the nose, which is great. Uh, these eyes are not symmetrical. This guy, this eye is like this. This guy, this one is kind of up and sad, kind of going over here. Like the these this rhythm of the of the of this face is, is, is fantastic. Look, look, there is a tangent here, but it's a deliberate tangent because this line actually exists as a rhythm. It comes in and it actually does that. Um, and then this comes in and it actually does it. This is actually a rhythm, a real rhythm that comes into the, into the, into, in the face. So he actually just connected that rhythm and just keeps it that way. Uh, here we have like this, uh, this beautiful line, crossing the, these two there, there's something very interesting about this area here uh, notice also uh, he's making sure that even the skull isn't symmetrical he's breaking up this curve here and then this is not the same he doesn't this is is, is completely an asymmetrical head shape he deliberately did that in order to add interest to his design. It's something that you would pick up from studying Hanna-Barbera, for example. If you look at Hanna-Barbera shapes, the characters, uh, especially like like um, somebody like Snagglepuss or somebody who has like a pear body, um, if you look at the way that that the Hanna-Barbera designs are done, um, they're like a, they're a little bit like this. They're a little bit off, and the and the curves are a little that like the curves. Uh, are, are, are on each side of the body are just off, and they they, they turn a little. They they're 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 asymmetrical. They 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 turn in different areas in different places, and 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 that adds interest to the character design as a whole. So you could even apply it to something like the the skull of the head like this. And he did exactly the same thing here. Like it's almost the exact same kind of. Um, Asymm asymmetry. He has this kind of L shape here, and then this shape is not an L. This is a different kind of straight, and this is a different kind of straight. So, I mean, curve, and this is a different, and there's a straight here. So there's a straight here, curve, and then there's a C curve that kind of comes over here, but it, but the, 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 the tip of the corner comes up here like that. Um, again, there's beautiful designs, beautiful... <laughs> I may be here too long if I if I if I if I uh, talk about every single one of these drawings, but uh, I just wanted to point out some of the some of the uh, the design decisions that he makes as a designer that makes things interesting and uh, that you can pick up on and and try to apply on your own designs if you're going full cartoony uh, like this. And even if you're not, even if you're doing a little bit something a little bit more, you can still kind of push some of this stuff so that it uh, so that you can pick up some of these like for example here's a straight versus a curve here and uh, it's a it's a beautiful design here and then this is not symmetrical notice here's the pinch and here's the straight and the straight is simple and the pinch is complicated and by complicated I mean there's two lines here pointing to that you know and and, and it's just like there's like a little bit more of a corner here and, and, and even these two legs, one's in front of the other, so they're not quite the same width. Like, look how thick her thigh is here, and look how much thinner it is here because it's going behind. But it also makes for interesting shape. Like, she's not straight up and down. Her body curves in, and it comes down this way, see? So it's it's beautiful. It's a beautiful thing. The, even these two things, that like the this shape and this shape is symmetrical. It's really interesting, but then this breaks it up. Great stuff, great stuff. 
Uh, this guy's face is fantastic. I just love this guy's face. And I love the head shape, too. And the way that his, his, his face just goes right into the, into the collar of his neck. I mean, this is just really good stuff. Even this, this heart is, is, is asymmetrical, and uh, it's actually that much more interesting for it. Again, more head explorations. This looks like a Batman. This looks like Commissioner Gordon. Uh, this looks just like a mob boss. But so here's a some some Bruce Wayne uh, explorations, I suppose. Uh, just just playing with uh, with proportions to see what kind of faces you end up with just by messing with proportions, messing with the way that you draw uh, noses, making them more boxy. This is the kind of uh, nose that I tend to draw uh, underneath uh, as a construction, but what if you just actually had it as the final head, uh, just to see what would happen, just to see what the proportions would look like, just, um, just, and here look how boxy this is, you could actually see that here's the side of the face, here's the front of the face, uh, here's some uh, blush, some redness to the cheeks and redness to the nose. Uh, the proportions are, all the faces are, are a little bit higher than usual. Here's this really interesting uh, shape design that, that the, the top of the muscles make. Uh, great stuff, great stuff. More explorations here, more head explorations. See how the proportions of these two men are completely different? Uh, it just makes for a different face. Even if it, they're still both African American, uh, they, they, in this here is another exploration of the same kind of, but again, a different proportions, different lighting, different nose types. Uh, here's an exploration of eyes, like what would, would this do? And, and uh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. This actually looks a little bit like something that I would see Steve Sil Steven Silver do. Uh, but um, yeah, this is really just pushing shapes and messing with shapes and mess messing with proportions and designing noses and look at these lips they're just like these giant lips and uh and the giant nose that is because uh, noses you know tend to be uh you get tend to measure noses from the from the top top of the eyebrow all the way to the tip of the nose it's about a, as big as noses are and look at this one go it goes even further down than that which is great and then we've got this extra line here that just kind of um uh, crosses through here, and he's. This is the this is the second drawing that we've seen him do this kind of line in here, uh, just to make uh, interesting design. And even here, these muscles that come in here, just really overly emphasized, makes for an interesting head shape. This I love this. This is so interesting and so cool and very very designy and extremely pushed. See how like the opposite of this this crazy ear is this tiny ear. Uh, it looks like somebody like beat it up to a little pulp and, and we've got this it's all red and then we've got this because he's drinks too much or whatever and then we have this muscle here that comes down here and then we just add an extra little bit of lines here this we have this and these lines are, are, are represent it, it being a soft as it turns and this these lines as it turns and and, and uh, but but also uh, value but all this this entire head this entire head's made out of straights, except for maybe here. This is not a straight. But most of this stuff, most of the lines here are all straights. And and that's a that's an interesting exercise to do is to see how much uh, you can make out of uh, how, how you can make a character if you only were using straights. And that all and that's it. Um, how how would you do it? And um, and it's a really good exercise, and you end up realizing that um, straights are extremely versatile and they, they're very helpful. Uh, again, uh, another uh, great little design here, and then we've got this kind of simple head shape. Uh, and really, it's the proportions and the way that all these uh, uh, features are, 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 are grouped together that really make this. And again, this is mostly straights, and then there's a f couple of C curves in here for emphasis. Uh, this is almost all curves, except for the handful of straights, like right here and right here. And right here, to re that really ends up uh, pushing and and, and 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 emphasizing all the rounds in this design, and it's extremely pushed. It's beautiful. Um, these things are not uh, the same size. Like like this whole chunk area is smaller than this area. Uh, it, it's it just in the juxtaposition the the 
the neck is is coming out here but it's but it's not a straight neck it, one line is this way and one line isn't um, round face and again this is influenced by by that one other cartoon so I, I, I don't know whose name it, it is but but you can tell that's what that is and uh, it's beautiful beautiful stuff um, um, let's see there's a robot here that I don't know I just oh a guy just kind of sitting here it's very cool designs really pushed shapes I love this and he's it's such a confident line too it's just ridiculous uh, some poison ivy explorations um, different uh, different poison ivies that he's drawn maybe or it's just a compilation of his yeah of different ivies he's drawn and they're all a little bit different they're all uh, got a slightly different uh, amount of uh, 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 proportion changes very slight like this one is not quite this but they're very similar this head shape is 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 very is uh, is similar to this one look like if you take this this s out we've got this kind of drop and it's here too and then you add this s in here and it just makes it that much more interesting but look there it is again it's just that shape and then he has that extra thing here on the other hand much more complicated eye uh, uh, hair but the front here is much more simple here we have the same kind of shape except <clears throat> no not the exact same shape actually if it was the exact same shape it would it, it would come down here and do this the reason why it doesn't is because it wants to avoid all the tangents that would happen if uh, he did keep this shape like this um, it would tangent with too much stuff so it, it was it's actually better if it just comes down here and goes into the back same hair shape here uh, but the proportions are pushed even more from see if you look at these two there the proportions are pushed in the face and then even her body like her chest comes straight out of her neck well here it, it it does it still does that but it but it go but it but it's the 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 curve goes down this way while this one comes up and then this one's got a shoulder and then that's where the chest comes in shoulder and then chest so um, this one is boom boom and it goes in this way similar to that except this has this popping up like that while this one is just one shape uh, here's uh, simplicity on this side <clears throat> complexity on this side with the corner uh, just great explorations really fun stuff another poison ivy he just it's one of the characters he explores the most but every single time he explores her she he he plays around with the shapes a lot more he does he he, he just experiments and, and sees what he could push and what he, what he could keep and things like that again more Bruce Wayne explorations some Batman explorations um, here's something that would be that Darwin Cook would probably feel at home doing. See, here's some black, and then here we have the uh, 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 the uh, three value head. Uh, just great stuff. Like it's just the, the the shapes that he comes up with, the exploration, and the and here this this black mass, the design of the black, it's just really clean and interesting. Um, here's another design of the black. Uh, just l look at this. It's, it's not simple it, 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 he could have just done straight but but there's a there's a little extra um, bump there a little a little corner there and it just adds so much more emphasis to it great stuff Bruce Tim esque body types but pushed really really pushed I mean uh, this is much more cartoony than the stuff that you would n normally see in a Bruce I mean look at these tiny tiny feet and tiny tiny ankles um, and then these extremely broad shoulders um, you usually don't get Bruce Tim stuff looking this pushed uh, this is why it's Shane and not Bruce Tim uh, this is how far you could push it and still make uh, characters really really interesting in fact all of these characters are extremely unique and interesting in spite of the fact that they all kind of have a very similar body type and um, part of it is the faces. The faces, he's playing around with the proportions. One's wider, one's thinner. His eyes are a little bit 
funkier put uh, uh, in different places. He's really, really pushing playing with shapes and variations. Uh, these, this is just a variation on one theme, and, and, and it just shows you uh, what can be done uh, within the same kind of uh, uh, drawing formula. You could still get a lot of variation and a lot of play off of the one drawing formula. And uh, here we have some uh, Shane Lyon girls. So Shane uh, tends to draw women a lot, and he does them a lot. He does he does a lot of fun things with cartoony women, uh, for like like this one. And uh, so he it, and it's all about playing with the shapes and pushing the shapes and simplifying and making uh, just uh, taking things like the wrinkles and then just. How can I just almost abstract it so that it's just two lines, you know, and then and then you've got the wrinkles while still making it feel like wrinkles, you know. Uh, he's kind of almost come like a like a genius in in its in the in the simplicity of the calligraphy that you can that you can uh, put down when when doing a drawing, and and that's part of the fun of exploring and, and, and checking out his work and seeing what he does. He's gotten uh, to the point where he's just he's got so much facility with just putting in a line and having it represent something uh, that um, uh, that you wouldn't think would work. And, um, and that just comes from just drawing so much non-stop all the time. Uh, look at this uh, great exploration, figure drawing exploration. This is uh, a gesture drawing, but he, but he's done such an amazing job, just kind of uh, putting in the essence of of what needed to be there. Uh, he even went out of control, went made the line here, so he just went and then he just broke it up. Um, really great. And look at this face; it's just so clear. The expression is so clear. I love this just great just values and thick and thin and, and it's just um, really push shapes and, and amazing very interesting shadow shapes uh, again very similar to that other pose where with the thunder thigh with the big thick giant legs uh, but look at this shape how he he breaks it up and and, and exaggerates this curve and uh, again, more really cartoony, very simple faces. So this is definitely inspired by uh, that one cartoonist. Where look at th this is this is the way that that cartoonist would draw these arms. It's just like these giant, thick old things, and then look at and at these tiny, tiny, barely visible hands, hand designs. Um, Of course, an ivy. Why not an ivy? She, but she's totally different than all the other ivies that we've seen so far. So he's really playing. Look at this crazy hourglass shape that he's done in here. It's pushed almost to the point where, like, it's. I mean, seriously, look at this. There's like nothing there. But then we got like this S curve. It comes in and goes S curve, and then there's an S curve here. Boom. It's, this is really Bruce Tim, but pushed to craziness uh, simple clear fun little uh, girl girl drawings very clear very simple like in uh, so there there's it's a study in simplicity round head just eyes I mean look at look at how simple this is but it's beautiful because of the shapes notice look 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 at how short this is between shoulder to elbow and then look how much longer this is from the forearm all the way to the ground um, he does the same thing the this is smaller smaller than this length here and that's that adds interest we've got these shapes that break up very clearly and then we have this straight versus this curve straight versus this s curve straight versus this S curve and then these tiny legs it's just so good just all this stuff, it's just so good here's a, a, a early design of um, Justice League action Wonder Woman uh, and again very very Shang lines like this um, 
it definitely has the the Bruce Tim um, aesthetic, but the proportions and everything about it is very Shane. Like you could tell, uh, having seen the previous stuff, how he pushes this stuff. That when you look at at the Justice League action uh, characters, they're not Bruce Tim. They're very Shane Glein. And here's a Justice League action exploration for the Joker. And again, it's just a play on these shapes. Uh, it's just beautiful, beautiful stuff. S-curve here. S-curve here. An S-curve right here next to a C-curve. Bam! And then the proportions. His eyes are extremely far away. we got a tiny nose up really close to the, to the face and, and a mouth that comes all the way down. And these all chin. Like all of these... Are almost, they're all chin. This is the only one that doesn't have a long chin. All of these are long, big chins and, and eyes far apart. So it's an exploration of eyes far apart, little nose, long chin. Uh, what can we do with the eyes shapes to make it interesting? Uh, wh what's working? Is this working? No. Okay. Is this working? No. Uh, how about this? Mm, maybe. How about with these crazy hair? How about this with this crazy hair? How about this crazy hair? What if, what if we do, because he was trying to do this, like, what if this is the smile, you know, like, you, you, you're, you're really looking for uh, the right um, balance of all the stuff. Justice League, action, Batgirl. Uh, definitely influenced by the Bruce Timm style. This is a Bruce Timm style influenced design. However, it's absolutely 100% Shane Glines with... The giant eyes and the light little nose and the, and and uh, the proportions that are, are that are very Shang lines. Uh, it's uh, it's great. It's great to to take a look at at these designs. Like here's a booster, uh, Bruce Tim style booster gold, but with Shang lines uh, aesthetic all over it. So, uh, which means that it's it's much more pushed. It's not as as um, uh, like if you look at the animated series uh, designs, they look they're a lot more conservative. You could actually tell that they're a little bit la they're a little bit more uh, on the level, like a little bit more like it's just they're they're more heroic, a little bit more. Um, man, I, I almost want to say normal, um, uh, human proportioned almost. But this is pushed a little bit more. Like it's it's much more cartoony. It's a little bit more pushed. It's it's taken that much, and th that extra step. And again, more exploration. Probably Bruce Wayne. I'm guessing. Uh, but uh, yeah, look at this guy. He looks like something out of a 1960s movie, like a like a noir movie, right? Uh, all of these are explorations on the on on the same kind of. Uh, characters very very similar proportions, but um, but uh, but they're subtly different. Just to see uh, what would happen if you change the the shape of the nose, the spacing of the nose. It does make a different the, the the shape of the head. It makes a difference. It makes a really really big difference when you when you when you make those slight tweaks and adjustments. You get a different person. Uh, so it's always it always behooves you to just. Play around with just that little bit with the proportion. Move it up and down a little bit. Maybe space out the face a little bit. Maybe change the way the shape of the head. It, 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 this is an example of how to really play with, with character design and shape. And this is something that you would do if you were doing character design uh, professionally. You would have to come up and explore a lot more. And those are all the drawings that I've got uh, to talk about. Uh, but uh, the, the, the truth is... Uh, Shane Glines is really prolific. He draws a lot, and when and he's got a ton of work online that you can probably find, and you can pro and you could find all his designs for Justice League Action, which I think are all beautiful and they're great, and I love the designs for Justice League Action. I thought that show looked fantastic. Okay, so for for those of you who are really really into the hard copies of books and want to buy. Uh, and want to have a, a, a print version of something that Shane Glines um, uh, has uh, of, of Shane Glines' drawings, then um, I would highly recommend here you here let me let me bring this down here. 
So I'm going to link to uh, these. So he does have uh, books called S Curves. And uh, this is volume two, or this is volume three. This is volume two. I don't know where volume one is. Um, here, maybe. Uh, and then we, he's got like a cartoon route troll book, and we got Lilith and Flitch here. So uh, there he, so there is uh, Shane Glines artwork, uh, and I think believe this is a cover by Shane Glines, or maybe not. I don't know. Maybe that's Bruce Tim. Um, but he, there is. So I'm going to link to these books in the description of this video if you really, really like having the actual physical books in front of you if you don't want to go and look for his stuff online uh, but I will also link to his Instagram and his Facebook uh, page because um, he's on, he's constantly posting stuff up online. he's very very active online uh, he's worth following and uh, and, uh, and 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 he's and he tends to post especially on Facebook he tends to post uh, uh, inspirational artists that are that that, that he thinks is are, are also worth studying uh, and then he, he talks about him a little bit sometimes uh, but um, he definitely talks about his influence a lot so he, he's definitely worth following as an artist also uh, in, in um, yeah, online and just and just uh, and seeing what he has to say and uh, and uh, it's very educational so uh, yeah that's Shane Glines I hope uh, I've opened your eyes to yet another artist. I know uh, that this is, it, it can start becoming overwhelming when there's so many good artists out there, but at the same time, it's great that there's so many because there's, there's no end to the people that could influence you, that you, could, that you can um, uh, study and, 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 uh, and learn from and become better just by the fact that you know that they exist and that, uh, that and, and seeing how they approach things that you may not have thought of before, uh, and, and and add it to your repertoire, and because you you're getting so many different influences like Shane Glines, and you're getting somebody like Jack Kirby, and you're getting somebody like Alex Toth, and you're getting uh, just all these artists that are just uh, pushing and, and, and their envelope and doing their own thing. All of them are being influenced by somebody else, right? But the thing is, you, you take a little bit of here, you take a little bit of that, you take a little bit of here over here. But, but it, the way that you, you, you uniquely put them all together uh, is, is, it will, will be you. Will, that will be your voice. That will be the thing. And then, and then people will eventually not even notice that you're stealing from anybody because it's such an amalgam of different influences and, and, and you've uniquely put them in such a way and, and, and your personal taste of the way you're going to put those things together is so different and, 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 and nobody has done it before like you will that uh, that, that is uh, how you become you. That's how you get your own voice. All right, so uh, thanks a lot for watching and I'll talk to you next time. All right.